less than three minutes to go. The home team down by three. Dennis Hightower has a chance to lead his team to the state championship game. Vikings! Eight hours earlier, the stands were silent. The only sounds go. were Dennis leading the offense in a walkthrough and his father, Derek, setting up for game day. Don't quit. It's like he said, once I start, you can't finish. And ever since then, like, like once I start a game, I got to finish it all the way through. But after 15 years as a custodian, Derek says that advice goes beyond the gridiron. Don't be the one to push it to broom. Be the one to tell somebody how to push the broom. Yeah, education, education comes before anything. Dennis Hightower grew up off the corner of Washington and Seidel. As a kid, he spent a lot of time right across the street on the Vikings practice field. One day, I just came out here, I seen the football team practicing, and it was me and one of my friends, Steven. We came out here and Coach Luke asked if he wanted a ball boy job. Dennis said yes, and three years later, led the Vikings to 12 straight wins and a state semifinal. But Derek can't watch. He works during the game. I just block it out. Was that uh, one day? One day I, I would I would like to sit down and enjoy the game as a fan. That day would be the state title game in Champaign. If this was a movie, Dennis would toss the winning touchdown pass. But in real life, the star QB did not make the deciding throw. A trick play, an interception. Season over. Dennis will return for his senior year. Derek will return to work Monday. Father and son accept the setback and move forward, just like the city they call home. In Danville, AJ Byatt for ABC News Channel 15.